I am Dr. John Cardella, an interventional radiologist at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Patients that come for prostate artery embolization are men, typically in their 60s, 70s, or 80s, who all have an enlarged prostate. As we age, prostates enlarge, and at times, if it gets too large, you can develop symptoms. Symptoms that include needing to go to the bathroom frequently, or needing to get up many times at night to use the restroom. In some cases, the symptoms can be so severe that you have an inability to urinate or empty the bladder. And those men who have an enlarged prostate and severe symptoms are very good candidates for our procedure of prostate artery embolization. My philosophy for treating patients uh, comes from my time as a medical student at Georgetown where we are taught the philosophy of cura personalis, which is to say, treat the whole person. And that's something I learned early and something that I carry with me today in my practice. When men come to me to discuss prostate artery embolization, I like to discuss not only the symptoms that have brought them there and the symptoms that are causing them to have trouble urinating, but also a little bit about their life, a little bit about their passions, about what, they, uh, what, what things are important to them. And uh, by getting a sense of the whole person, I'm able to, to treat them better as a physician. I went into interventional radiology uh, because I find it to be the most fantastic combination of engineering, science, and medicine. And by leveraging uh, those technologies, we're able to perform minimally invasive procedures on patients uh, where they are able to come into the hospital, have a procedure, and go home the same day and have a significant improvement in their quality of life in very short order. What I find to be so satisfying about my job is that I can come into work, meet new patients, perform procedures on patients, and then meet other patients in follow-up who come back to tell me what a profound impact it has made on their daily life and how uh, they are just feeling so much better after the procedure and that they're able to do things in their life that were important to them uh, that they were limited by before the procedure and are now able to, to fully enjoy after having our procedure. Prostate artery embolization is a minimally invasive procedure where using imaging guidance, we maneuver a very small device into the tiny arteries that supply the prostate and administer a small embolic bead to block up the blood flow to the prostate. So we use prostate artery embolization to treat men who have severe symptoms associated with an increased prostate size. These symptoms can include frequent urination or getting up multiple times at night to urinate. And if we treat the prostate with the procedure, we can shrink the prostate down to a point where those symptoms are no longer bothersome. Men who are experiencing symptoms associated with an increased prostate size may want to talk to an interventional radiologist about prostate artery embolization to see if the procedure could benefit them. Results after a procedure are very individual. Some men will come and say, I am getting up to pee five or six times a night, and I would love to just be able to get up once or twice a night. And for that man, a good result would be in reducing his trips to the bathroom from five to one. Other men may come to us and say, I am having trouble voiding and I have a catheter in my bladder all the time. Is there any way we could get this catheter out? For that man, a good result would be getting that Foley catheter removed permanently. And so an important part 
of our treatment of patients is in talking to them and understanding what they are hoping to get from the procedure so that we can ensure everyone gets a good result. So the procedure of prostate artery embolization generally takes between two and three hours. There is some time spent in the holding area pre-procedure, getting into a gown and having an IV placed, but the procedure itself is generally between two and three hours. A vast majority of our patients undergo this procedure with moderate sedation, which is a combination of intravenous medications that when given together create a relaxing, uh, calm uh, experience. One of the great benefits of prostate artery embolization is that this minimally invasive procedure is an outpatient procedure, meaning patients will come into the hospital, have the procedure, and go home on the same day. During prostate artery embolization, we do administer small embolic spheres into the prostate arteries in order to block up blood flow. This results in the prostate shrinking. These beads are permanent. So one of the great results of prostate artery embolization is that by blocking up the small arteries that supply the prostate, we can begin to shrink the prostate in size, which is what results in a reduction in some of the symptoms that are so bothersome. Immediately after the procedure, we will send a patient to the recovery area for a few hours that's to ensure that there are no bleeding complications from the artery access site. Once a patient goes home later that day, I tell them to take it easy for a day or two to avoid lifting heavy things or exercising too vigorously. But beyond that time frame, a vast majority of our patients return to their normal routine level of activity. During prostate artery embolization, a Foley catheter is placed in order to uh, facilitate the procedure. At the end of the procedure, the Foley catheter is removed and a vast majority of men go home with no catheter in place. For men who undergo prostate artery embolization and are on prostate shrinking medication, I encourage them to continue taking the medication after the procedure. After prostate artery embolization, the prostate will slowly begin to shrink. This can take several months to reach maximum effect. So we recommend that men who are on medication for their prostate continue to take that medication immediately after the procedure to allow the full two to three month time frame uh, for the prostate artery embolization to work. So a vast majority of our patients uh, require only one prostate artery embolization treatment. However, there is nothing about the procedure that would prevent uh, a gentleman from needing or having to have the prostate embolized again. And so in rare situations when the prostate begins to grow back over years of time, uh, we can do prostate artery embolization a second time. One of the great things about prostate artery embolization is that it is so minimally invasive that it does not block or preclude the ability to have any other prostate procedures done.